I'll just copy and paste this. Okay, phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven instead, and this is fifty thousand and one never ending street. And now, if I run this, oh, whoops, I forgot to close curly brakes. Uh, no, that closes that one. That closes that one. Oh, whoops, didn't put an equals. There we go. Okay, so now, if I want to, if I look up Chris Fenton, let's just start off with that. If I look up one person in this, remember Chris Fenton now is the key. If I look up Chris Fenton, we get an entire dictionary back, because Chris Fenton is the key to a whole dictionary. And so, <coughs> uh, this dictionary is the second dimension of our array. So, this opening curly brace and this closing curly brace here represent one dimension, and then any uh, additional opening and closing braces represent the second um, second dimension. And then if we had uh, more closing and opening curly braces inside here, inside this one, or inside this one, that would represent a further third dimension, and you can have well, you, I'm not going to say you're going to have infinite dimensions, because obviously there's a, there's a limit to the amount of memory a computer has. But you can have a freaking ton, okay? You, you can have more than you're ever going to need. So, that's what multi-dimensional arrays are. But now let's look at... At the moment, I can only retrieve um, an entire dictionary of one person, okay? I can also retrieve my dict... Oops. ASIB. Whoops. ASIB. And that gets me another whole dictionary as well. So how do I look at ASIB's phone number, or ASIB's address, or Chris, uh, Chris's phone number, or Chris's address? Okay, let's, we're going to, again, we need to index the um, first key. So in this case, we need to index the first, the person we want to find the phone number or address of. So I'll just say I want to find the phone number of Chris Fenton. And then you need another pair of curly brace, uh, of square brackets. Uh, for the second dimension, and if you had third, fourth, and fifth dimensions, you'd need five sets of uh, square brackets, okay? And in this, I then put the key of um, an element of a key value pair in this dictionary. So for the first one, I do it uh, for either Chris Fenton or ASIB as the key. I have that as the key in the first set. And then the second set, depending on where. Um, what key I used. Say I had phone number and address in Chris Fenton, but phone number and uh, email in the second one. I wouldn't be able to use email in this second set if I had Chris Fenton as the first key, because Chris Fenton doesn't have an email, he's got an address, and likewise for a sib I couldn't use the address. Okay, so then the second set uh, depends on what's inside the dictionary which your key points to. Okay. So I'm going to find the phone number of Chris Fenton. And voila, there we go. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now if I copy and paste this, okay, and simply change Chris Fenton to a sip, then I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 instead. And this works the same way for uh, the address as well. You just change the key in the second set of uh, square braces. Okay, and just quickly I'll show you with lists. I'll say my list equals one, and then you can have one, two, uh, and I need to put a comma there actually as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, uh, five, six, seven. Okay, let's, let's have something like that. Now if I look at my list 1, which would be the second element, we get an entire list, because the second element is an entire list. So if I look at my list 1, 1, I should get back the number 2, because in the first element, in the first uh, index, it's an entire list, and then in the, it, sorry, in the second element, in the f uh, first, in the uh, greater curly br uh, square brackets, it's an entire list. And then <coughs> in this, the the second element, remember because the zero offset, 
it's a 2. So doing this I should get back 2, and voila, I do. And if I did it with my list 1, 0, I'd get back the 1. So if I do it with my list uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, for uh, 1, I should get back 6. And there we go, I get back 6. So that's with um, lists, and it's basically exactly the same with tuples. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll just leave it like that. And. Whoops. Left out the equals again. Sorry. There we go. Uh, so my tuple. Uh, two, whoops, square brackets, we want two, one, should return four. There we go. Okay, so that's um, multi-dimensional, uh, well, sequences, I should say, because we're using Python. But uh, the overall programming term is, in fact, uh, multi-dimensional arrays. Uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. We just, uh, probably been quite a long one, actually, but we did learn a lot of really important stuff. Uh, next tutorial we're going to be looking at the dict function, and then in the next few tutorials we're going to look at dictionary methods. Okay guys, over now.